Our voices. Our stories. Our community. In the summer, the province of Newfoundland and Labrador comes to life. This northeasterly province that was built on the backs of fishermen is scenic and full of culture. In its capital city, St. John's, the streets become flooded with traffic. The fishermen get aboard their boats and tackle the North Atlantic, while kids embark on adventures to make the most of their summer break. Not far away from the busy streets of St. John's is the Easter Seals House. This year, the facility has a brand new playground that is entirely accessible for people who use wheelchairs or live with mobility issues. Participants at the day camp have been having a blast at camp, while CEO Mark Bradbury has been hard at work campaigning and fundraising to expand their facility. We're an organization that's open to persons with all disabilities, all disabilities, developmental, too physical, etc., and also all ages. So um, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing now what we offer to persons with disabilities here and changing their lives in a positive way. I had some illness with other family members uh, that I have, uh, quite familiar with um, persons with a disability. And um, so it was actually um, a pretty smooth transition coming in to be the CEO for Easter Seals with all my board experience and uh, marketing experience and uh, financial administration. And so I just take those skills to, like I did with every other industry I ever started with, I didn't know anything much about them, I just took those skills with it and uh, try to make it to maximize the potential. So hopefully uh, we're getting somewhere and, and uh, I think we have over the past three and a half years. When you think about waking up in the morning, the challenges that persons with disabilities have to face. And, um, but you know, their uh, attitudes don't reflect that. It's just total positiveness, happiness, or smiles or laughter. Many, many people can learn a lot and get a lot of uh, fantastic uh, uh, outlook on life by just being around uh, people with uh, disabilities. It's, uh, it's humbling. You just admire them. It's just fantastic. In order for this playground to become a reality, uh, it stemmed from uh, the board of directors, the management team here getting together and uh, coming up with a, uh, a plan. And we uh, launched a capital campaign called See the Ability in Disability. Uh, capital campaign with uh, the, the vision of having a, the largest and uh, most inclusive uh, accessible uh, playground, uh, likely east of uh, Toronto and Montreal, right here in uh, St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador. It just took a complete uh, community of champions to bring it all together. Uh, we worked very, very diligently with it, reaching out to uh, government, corporations, uh, separate donors and families. We're uh, very, very pleased to have phase one of the uh, park, which is this uh, beautiful playground behind us launched and uh, set up and a grand opening was 2018, so uh, we're well underway. This is a playground of inclusion, so it's open to everyone in the city, everyone in the province and all tourists who come, anyone who has a disability or, or, not, or no disability. So it's, uh, it's an opportunity for persons uh, with a disability or without to come and play in the playground. The amazing win-win thing uh, for the camp counselors and for volunteers is that for many of them, they're all uh, university students. Uh, they're learning about social work, they're learning about kinetics, uh, physiotherapy, etc. And when they come to Easter Seals, they get that hand-on practical experience. Uh, but what else comes with that is their dedication, their willingness to, uh, to help and it's not just a job for them, they become certainly uh, invested in uh, the children and uh, what uh, comes with that. And uh, as I walk back and forth throughout uh, the camps and throughout the Let's Get Active programs or wall climbing, whatever it may be, uh, to see their relationships that they build with the, uh, with the participants and the campers uh, is, is pretty remarkable. And uh, so the campers win, the actual uh, counselors and, uh, and uh, volunteers win, and it's just a fantastic uh, community experience for, for them and uh, a wonderful experience for the campers. Nate Simmons is an enthusiastic young camper at Easter Seals Day Camp. Nate is accompanied to camp by his caretaker, who has witnessed the positive effects of the programming orchestrated by Easter Seals. 
My name is Scott Parsons and we're at Easter Seals House here on Mount Sior Road in St. John's, Newfoundland. And we're currently in the All Access Park and it's a beautiful day out. Well, this particular park, it's, it's all access for people who have mobility issues, say with wheelchairs. Everything here can be access, accessed by a wheelchair and they get to experience life or experience play without being confined to that chair. They can get out, they can move around, get on the equipment. The slides, the swings are designed for people with disabilities. They love it. It's very much needed in the area. There are very few all access playgrounds around and it's limiting the ability of people with mobility issues that they can't get out and enjoy life as, as any other child would. I actually started doing uh, personal care with one of the campers here for, I've been doing it now, I'd say going on five years. The lead up to camp for my client Nate is completely through the roof. He's excited beyond belief. We walk in through the doors and the excitement is unreal. This Easter Seals camp has been really good for Nate. He gets, he gets to interact with his friends. He learns social skills that he's going to need later in life. He learns to play by the rules. I think all of the programs here are, are, have their own benefit. Uh, it helps people conquer some of their phobias. They've got a rock, rock climbing wall in there that some of the campers are a little apprehensive about. When they get up on it, they absolutely love it. They get people out and anybody who's got social phobias, say, they interact with different people. You can see them coming out of their shells. They really enjoy it. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. In the afternoon, participants at Easter Seals Day Camp in Newfoundland gather around the fire pit to sing songs and roast marshmallows. Jay Perrell, a newly hired camp lead, has an extensive background working as a counselor and mentor at different camps across the province. Jay organizes programs and schedules, carrying out different themes and activities throughout the week. This week's theme is Survivor, which includes activities like capture the flag and building a fire. I, I love having campfires. It's something I've done myself as a kid, something I've done at camp as a kid. Um, I find coming together and just creating that group atmosphere where we're all one circle, it creates like being complete together. Uh, singing the songs, laughing, you know, just joking around, roasting some marshmallows. Um, it's just, it's an activity where everybody's included, everybody can participate, and um, yeah, I just, the songs and stuff, it all just grabs me. It's such a nice time. So, I mean, morale here is a big thing. Um, if we're happy, the campers are gonna be happy. I try to live my life happy as much as I can. I love camp, it's my passion. I've been doing it for a long time, even longer than here. Um, I, I always go back to a story. I'm gonna just tell you that one time I had kids and they were eight years old when they started and they were 15 when they ended camp. And they just wrote me a letter explaining what I had done for them to help them grow as people. And seeing kids grow is just my passion in life. I wanna see kids grow to be the best them they can be. Um, we got a great staff here. They're all very dedicated to what they do, very passionate about what they do. So when they see the campers out there participating, they want to go out with them automatically. If they see someone sitting on the side, they want to run over to them and grab them because they know how much fun we're having and they see all the other kids having fun and some of them might just need a little boost. So they just go over and grab them and make sure they're participating. My camp philosophy here at camp is that I want to see everybody here uh, really included in everything. I don't want to see anyone sitting off to the side. I want to see every person coming into that program that we're doing and make sure it's fully effective for everybody. You always want to see someone I like what we say to push people out of their comfort zone into the zone where they can learn. You know what I mean? You don't want to make anyone panic, but we, we really try to do it here so that we can see someone who's constantly in their chair. They might have a walker, but they might not feel as comfortable in their walker. So we'll always encourage them at certain activities to say, hey, you can get out in your walker right now. Let's, let's go for a stroll. And with the support of the counselors being next to them, they're more comfortable knowing that someone's safe with them. And then the next time they might not need a counselor next to them. 
Seeing the development of the new playground has been incredible. Um, I came in here, honestly, uh, in May, and like, there might have been a couple of pieces there, flat ground mostly. And within a couple of weeks, it just came up so fast. And seeing how fast that we've seen all of our participants go to play on it, as well as just people from the city. So uh, my little guy, uh, he hangs out and he comes to the playground as well. And uh, last uh, weekend we came here and he's, uh, he lives with autism. So he came in and he got up on the slide and he was going down and down. And then uh, our little boy came by and he asked him his name and he talked to him. And anyway, he doesn't usually you know, talk with other campers, but I guess feeling comfortable in that zone, uh, he kind of like talked to the other kid and they both were sliding together. And you know, saying like good job and congratulating each other. And it was a really nice memory of me to see, you know, just to see exactly why we built this, just to have everyone play together. Inside Easter Seals House is a gymnasium that facilitates different programs like wheelchair basketball and rock climbing. At the day camp, counselors and campers begin their morning with a program called Let's Get Active. The counselors coordinate different games and encourage campers with mobility issues to use walkers or other equipment to help them move more freely. For example, some campers use a wheelchair-like device that has no seat and uses a harness and armrest to support their weight. Julianne Meany is an assistant camp lead and has established meaningful relationships with multiple campers. So one of the games that we really like to play is What Time Is It Mr. Wolf, which is a classic. I'm sure everyone probably played that as a kid. So basically what it is, there's a wolf, or sometimes we'll do a couple wolves, who stand on one end of the gym. The rest of the, the camp will all yell together, What Time Is It Mr. Wolf? What time is it Mr. Wolf? And then Mr. Wolf, or Mrs. Wolf, um, gives a time, for example, 11 o'clock. That means the campers take 11 steps or 11 like pushes in their chair and move a little bit closer until all of a sudden it's lunchtime and the wolves run and, and try and catch all the campers, and at which point they become wolves as well to help catch their friends. So this is a game that a lot of the campers love for a couple of different reasons. Being the wolf can be really fun and it actually encourages them to like yell and really use their voices to call out the time, which is something that they're not all necessarily comfortable with, but playing this game kind of gives them an opportunity to, to use those skills to actually use their voices really loudly, which is really fun. Um, so then in terms of the running and chasing, that's fun for any kid. So for our kids who use walkers or wheelchairs, a lot of the times there will be a counselor helping push them so they can just go faster than they've ever gone before, which can be really exciting for them for sure. So for me personally, I think it's great that a lot of our counselors actually can use their own skills to help with the different programs. So we have some counselors who are really great at sports, so they will help us with the different sports or the games that we play. Then we have some counselors who are good at arts, they help with arts and crafts. For me personally, I'm a music student at Memorial University, so I've been able to help with some music programs as well, which has been really fun. So we'll play different games, we will play with drums, we'll play some singing games. Um, and normally, what we did last year, and I'm sure we'll do again this summer, at the end of the summer, there's a talent show. So we get to help all of the campers learn a new skill or work on a song or something that, that they want to share with the group. And then at the end of the year, at the end of the summer, all their parents or friends can come in and watch them. So that has been really fun. Um, we actually had a camper who did the music program with me here at camp last summer, fell in love with it, and now she's actually a private voice student of mine. She came on for voice lessons because just discovered she really loved singing through camp, which was a really great experience too. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. My name is Cassandra and I've been coming to camp for seven years now. I like coming to camp because I'm in an environment where my disability isn't seen as me. I'm seen as who I am and how I behave, so I'm not the girl in the wheelchair here. I'm Cassandra. The counselors are great. They they help me a lot. They understand that I have to learn to do things by myself, so they don't do it for me right away. They watch me try, and then if they ask me if I need help, if I say no, they back off. If I say yes, they will help me. 
Some of them have become really good friends, like Danielle and Julian, who is now my voice teacher. You kind of make that relationship, and once you make the relationship, it's pretty unbreakable. Danielle Arbor is the counselor who plays wheelchair basketball. She is a member of the under 25 women's national wheelchair basketball team. So that's like the junior women's team. My relationship with her, she became a counselor three years ago. We've become really close and she helps me a lot. She taught me things that um, I wouldn't otherwise have learned. And she's taught me easier way to do things like my transfers and how to do certain things with my chair, how to maneuver it in certain ways so that way I don't get stuck in other situations. Cass reminds me a lot of myself when I was little. She's very independent and she likes to do everything on her own. Um, since last summer, I've seen a drastic improvement in her. I've kind of been pushing her and she says I'm a little mean to her sometimes, but I don't see it. I think I've made her a little bit more independent and I've seen her do things on her own now that she wasn't doing and it makes me feel really good because I know that she's capable of doing them all. Um, I've taught her some different kind of transfers because she can weight bear just as much as I can. So kind of teaching her how to get up from the floor or from her basketball chair to her day chair or even first from like a regular sitting chair to her day chair is it's all really improved, it's great. I've never really had someone growing up that I could look up to that also had a disability. So knowing from experience what I can teach Cass is just, it opens up a whole new world because I know now how it's, what it's like to live with a disability and how independent you can be, despite having one. We kind of bounce off each other with our energy, and she's a very enthusiastic person, and she's one of those people that don't really care that she's disabled. She kind of just runs with the punches and runs with life and just deals with it as she goes. It's helped me a lot because at first I was very, not very, elaborate about my disability, I didn't really see it as a good thing. I saw it as a bad thing and that I was different. But when I met her and like she taught me that it's okay and I don't have to be so secluded about it and I don't have to worry about it, I can just deal with it as I go. I want to become a counselor because being disabled myself, I can help other kids deal with what they want to deal with and teach them that yes, you're disabled, but you can still do things and hopefully one day introduce them to a sport like wheelchair basketball or learn, make them realize that they could do a musical instrument like I play the piano or sing or follow a passion that they otherwise couldn't really follow without the support of Easter Seals or another outside program. One of the most popular programs at Easter Seals is the 26 foot high accessible climbing wall. It has four major routes with different degrees of difficulty and multiple types of pulley systems to assist different campers. For example, by using a five-point pulley system, campers with mobility issues are able to wear a harness and securely participate in the rock climbing. The extra assistance from counselors can allow every camper to reach the top of the wall. My name is Eileen Bartlett. I'm Director of Programs here at Easter Seals Newfoundland Labrador and my main role is to oversee program delivery uh, in our recreation and uh, therapeutic programs um, at Easter Seals. In our plans for Easter Seals House which we opened in 2010 we had the plans for the climbing wall. It's all about the camper, the counselors are there to support the camper. We introduce the pieces of equipment, tell them their expectations and we work with the camper and we walk them along the path of getting the gear on to tell them where they're going to go and once they get on the wall it's up to them if you want to go six feet or 16 feet or all the way it's they're the boss they're in control that we will listen to them and make them secure and comfortable. A lot of times they think oh no that's not for me oh I can't do that so we encourage them and it's their decision to get involved and we encourage them to try new things they never thought possible and they might think, I can't climb that wall or I'm afraid of heights. And we encourage them to go bit by bit. If they get six feet up and they say, I wanna come down, that's their decision. They come down, but we encourage them to go back and they eventually will get up the wall. So you see increase in physical strength, um, mental strength, uh, independence, self-esteem, their decision-making skills. There's many skills that are developed through many of our programs. When they get off the wall, you can hear the applause and the excitement, they cheer each other on. 
and they support each other. They're there for each other. My name is Anna Santos and I've been coming to camp since I was four. I became the Easter Seals ambassador by first um, sending in a letter um, just explaining why I wanted to be the Easter Seals ambassador, how long I've been with Easter Seals and a lot of the different things I've done with them. I wanted to become the Easter Seals ambassador because I've been coming here for a long time and I've noticed that this is a really great place. I really like coming to camp at Easter Seals because of all their great programs like their rock climbing and their Let's Get Active. I just really like the people. I always find that every camp counselor that comes here in here is really nice. And over the summer, like at the start of the summer, you don't really know them very well. But by the end of the summer, you have a really good relationship with them and you kind of feel like they're your friends. Well, if you're doing something that you've never done before, like rock climbing or uh, something that you're kind of afraid to do, they're always really encouraging and trying to help you. It's a very like safe place, so if kids want to learn how to do something new, they can because everyone here is really encouraging and will help them any way they can and a lot of the kids feel safe here. I have a disability but a lot of people don't really notice it because it's not that severe but if I see someone with a disability I just think that they can do anything because well even if they do have a disability it shouldn't limit limit you so it shouldn't um, make anyone see you differently even if you can you have to do things differently i would just like to say uh, to everyone even if you have a disability just be yourself and always have fun easter seals day camp along with their other programs are beneficial to everyone involved ceo of easter seals newfoundland mark bradbury knows how important the community is to the success of these programs. We have over 200 volunteers who help us throughout the year and uh, we would be at a standstill without those volunteers. So I just want to thank the volunteers, thank all the donors and corporations uh, that uh, give and uh, the board of directors who volunteer their time. Uh, it's an amazing group effort that makes this happen. I just want to thank them all. Producer, director and writer, Mike Sims. Director of Photography, Curtis Hicks. Videographers, Curtis Hicks, Mike Sims. Editors, Mike Sims, Manuel Grados Andrade. Integrated Described Video Specialist, Emily Harding. Senior Producer, Jennifer Johnson. Production Supervisor, Janice Savitelli. Director Production, Karen I. Director Programming, Brian Perdue. Vice President Programming and Production, John Melville. President and CEO, David Arrington. Copyright 2018, Accessible Media, Inc.